whether it's stars being torn apart in dazzling bright explosions, monstrous black holes devouring everything in their path, or storms racing across the surfaces of planets at thousands of miles per hour. A quick glance at the natural spectacles in the cosmos is often enough to convince one of the elemental forces that are inherent to the universe. A few months ago, experts were once again able to see firsthand that the intensity of such phenomena often exceeds even the wildest expectations within their ranks. In today's video, you'll find out which gigantic event has captivated earthly researchers and which other cosmic processes simply leave us mesmerized. Excited about the scintillating spectacles and groundbreaking discoveries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Biggest Explosion in the Universe In 1980, one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions of the 20th century occurred in southern Washington state. As a result of the violent eruption, Mount St. Helens, the entire northern flank of Fire Mountain, slid down like an avalanche. The expert Simona Giancintucci sees certain parallels between the extreme earthly event and a gigantic cosmic explosion registered some time ago in the heart of a far distant galaxy cluster. The center of the galaxy cluster was literally torn apart in the course of the event. In detail, the detonation was the largest explosion ever detected in the universe. How enormous the dimensions of this eruption actually were becomes clear to us if we keep in mind that our home Milky Way would fit into the resulting gap about 15 times over. The explosion, which effortlessly eclipsed all comparable events known so far, occurred in the Ophiuchus Galaxy Cluster, about 390 million light years away from us. Besides the galaxies it contains, Ophiuchus also hosts very energetic intergalactic plasma. For this reason, the galaxy cluster presents itself as the second brightest X-ray source in the night sky. The heart of this massive cluster is again a cooler, dense zone. During the detailed investigation of the galaxy cluster, carried out with the Chandra X-ray telescope, experts quickly came across a striking detail, something seemingly incomprehensible. It seemed as if part of the radiating plasma had been dented at the edge. In other words, it appeared as if there was a large empty bubble there, pushing back the surrounding energetic gas. Typically, such holes can form in plasma when a black hole in an active galactic nucleus undergoes an outburst. However, in the case of the Ophiuchus galaxy cluster, the problem arose that it would have taken about 5 times 10 to the power of 54 joules of energy to tear such a huge cavity into the hot gas. For classification, the annual energy consumption of the whole of mankind amounts to about 6 times 10 to the power of 20 joules. Such an enormous intensity would have trumped all explosions measured up to then in the universe by a multiple. But which events could have set such an enormous eruption in motion? In order to get to the bottom of the cause of the huge hole in the plasma, Gia Santucci and her colleagues took another in-depth look at the area in question. In the process, the original data from the Chandra X-ray telescope were to be deepened and extended by information from powerful radio telescopes, such as those of the very large array in the United States. The unexpected finding was that the cosmic dent in the plasma was actually the component of a massive radio source. As a result of this surprising research result, experts came to the conclusion that a cosmic explosion of unimagined dimensions must have actually taken place in the Ophiuchus Galaxy Cluster. Delving into the cause Astronomers immediately crunched the numbers. According to the data, the eruption must have had an intensity that exceeded that of the previous record holder by a factor of five. Consequently, the explosion was an unprecedented outlier in terms of its force. After the dimensions of the eruption could be put into context, one urgent question had to be answered. What was the trigger of this gigantic detonation? In this respect, researchers assume that it was the explosion of a supermassive black hole in the center of a galaxy that caused the Ophiuchus galaxy cluster to shake. At any rate, the coincidence of the bubble in the X-ray spectrum 
and the extent of the detected radio data indicate this. In detail, however, these conditions are thought to be the relics of an enormous eruption that might have occurred as long as 240 million years ago. As is often the case, this discovery brought not only revelations, but also posed new questions in the same breath. Among these is the puzzling fact that the galactic nucleus, in which the gigantic explosion might once have taken place, appears remarkably quiet today. No less mysterious is the fact that the experts have only identified one explosion bubble so far. Typically, however, the eruption of a black hole in an active galactic nucleus is accompanied by the formation of symmetrical radio bubbles and jets on both sides of the galactic center. Currently, astronomers suspect that the counterpart of the discovered bubble fell into a less dense medium as a result of the detonation and faded away completely over the millennia. Although there are still many great mysteries to be solved about the largest known explosion in the universe, experts believe it's conceivable that, contrary to initial speculation, this is not an isolated case. Thus, future surveys of galactic clusters could possibly reveal further mega-explosions of this magnitude. Monster Storm on Foreign Planet the highest wind speed which was ever measured on Earth amounts to 254 miles per hour. This terrestrial record was set by the tropical cyclone Olivia, recorded in April 1996 on the west coast of Australia. As enormous these storm intensities may seem at first, they are in truth, however, nothing in comparison with the enormous spectacles which take place on other celestial bodies. Exoplanet HD 209458b made the headlines a few years ago when a real superstorm with wind speeds of up to 6,200 miles per hour occurred there. If we consider that terrestrial storms with a force of 250 miles per hour derail trains and cause massive buildings to collapse like houses of cards, we get a tiny foreshadowing of the enormous forces raging on alien planets. The fact that researchers were able to discover the cosmic storm at all, however, was due to chance. Some scientists unexpectedly became aware of the galactic hurricane when they were using the Very Large Telescope in Chile to study the movement patterns of carbon monoxide in the planet's atmosphere. But how did the monster storm on the exoplanet 160 light years away from us actually develop? Similar to our blue homeland planet, it was strong temperature differences that set the storm in motion. The celestial body has a bound rotation, which means that it always turns one and the same side towards its host star. The area that's constantly illuminated heats up strongly, while the opposite region, in constant darkness, is accordingly cooler. When the hot gas in the atmosphere on the day side of the exoplanet finally flowed into the realms of the cold night side, the way was paved for the formation of the superstorm. Due to the small spatial distance between the planet and its sun-like central star, which amounts to only 4.3 million miles, the thermometer on the surface of the celestial body climbs regularly to over 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit. Accordingly, the planet, which is unofficially also called Osiris, needs only three and a half days to completely orbit its ancestral star. The strong heating of the exoplanet leads further to the fact that it loses up to 500,000 tons of hydrogen to the surrounding space within a single second. In fact, the celestial body even has an atmospheric tail consisting of hydrogen, which trails behind the exoplanet over a length of 124,000 miles. Experts assume, therefore, that the planet has already lost 7% of its original mass over the course of its 5 billion years of existence. Beyond that, the planet has become the subject of scientific interest for several reasons. For in fact, HD 209-458b was the first exoplanet in history detected by the transit method in 1999. As a reminder, the transit method is a way of detecting planets in which the planet in question is not observed directly, but detected by examining the brightness profile of its host star. In 2007, experts announced that they had succeeded in registering enormous amounts of water vapor in the atmosphere of the celestial body with the help of the Hubble Space Telescope. This made HD 209-458b the first planet outside our home solar system on which water had been detected. However, the initially identified water vapor spectra could not be confirmed in the course of subsequent research. Now you're up! 
What are your thoughts about the huge explosion and the roaring storm on the alien planet? Go ahead and give us your feedback, your suggestions, and your opinion to today's video in the comments. Finally, we've linked some more exciting videos from our channel for you, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits now. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.